23, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and a bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, meaning the God with us. Jesus Christ to empowers his followers to change the world today. Distance is not a barrier to God's move. Emmanuel TV, God with us. So, madam, you're very welcome here today. Can you please introduce yourself to us? Tell us your name and where you're from. Emmanuel. My name is Mrs. Innocent Aisha Kuri. I'm from Niger State. I'm here to testify to the goodness of the Lord through the um, anointing water. I, my last baby was through um, CS. So the, this uh, baby again, when I was pregnant, getting to seven months, I went to my doctor. He told me that it was the same case again. This one was even worse, that my baby was more in a very good position and that the placenta was down. So I went home, although I declared there, I said I'm not going through any operation again, that the devil is a liar. So I went back home. I told my husband and my okay, mother. But before you go ahead, madam, um, when the doctors told you that your baby was in the wrong position and also the placenta was down, I mean, what did they warn you may happen to your baby? What, what were the implications of this situation? Is he was even asking me at that moment if I had started seeing blood because at that situation I was supposed to have been seeing blood cell and to affect the baby. So he even um, gave me directive that um, sh I should go on bed rest because I'm not supposed to be um, moving around so much because the placenta can fall at any time. So my husband and I came to SCOM. He came and got the anointed water. And then I called the um, prayer line. I told them what was happening to me. They asked me if I had anointed water. I said no. They said, do we have a manual TV? I said yes. They said to well, I should be praying uh, with the man of God whenever he's um, praying. And I should try to get anointed water. So my husband and I came down in January. He got the anointed water. And I started ministering the anointed water and praying with the man of God. Then after two weeks, I went back to the hospital. The doctor now scanned me. He was shocked. He asked me, that, Madam, what happened? I said, ah, it is prayer. He said, the baby is all right. I said, what about the placenta? He said, everything is okay. And I said, praise the Lord. I well, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Now, when you ministered the anointing water, tell us what happened in your, in your stomach, in your womb at that moment. When I ministered the anointing water, I was feeling um, some movement, so much movement. But although I was still um, scared because the, um, the last time I had before this one, when I was going for scanning, it was like the baby was okay. Then one day like that, I felt a huge movement in my uh, stomach. When I went back, they said the baby had changed to wrong position. So I was scared. That I, I was still praying that I pray that he's turning to the right position because I believed uh, the anointed water I was using. So I say it was turning to the right position. When I went to the hospital, quite all right, the baby had changed to the right position. Well, let's put our hands together for our Lord Jesus Christ. So God used the anointing water to reposition the baby in the womb of our mother here and also the placenta that was in the wrong and very dangerous position returned to its normal position. And tell us, when it was time for you to, to uh, give birth to your baby, what happens? When I fell into labor, it was like it was even off and on so i said i will not even go to that hospital because i didn't want any uh, cs so i just called one of my uncle's uh, wife she's like a nurse so she checked me she said it was labor but the service was very very tight so we we're even scared my mother-in-law she's here right in the church she said that she just believed that I'm going to give birth because I'm using anointing water. And being that what I was seeing on TV, I believed so much that yeah, I was going to give birth myself. I said, I know God will do it for me. So she was a bit scared. She didn't want to uh, collect the labor because she said my case was a serious one, that anything could happen. And she could not endorse me because of the last um, um, problem I had. So um, when I ministered, I called my mother-in-law. She ministered the anointing water into me and my private parts. Then later, the auntie came and checked me. She 
started shouting. She said, praise the Lord. I, I was in pain, yeah, so I, I said, auntie, what is this? She said that the service is all right now because it was too tired. She didn't tell us, but she was a bit scared. So after some minutes, I just gave birth myself, no tear, no anything. And I didn't even go to the, the hospital. So right there in your house, you gave birth to your baby? Yes, it's my uncle's house, but we're nearby, but we didn't, well, I didn't go to the hospital. I just went there for her to check me, and that was where I gave birth to the baby. Wow, we give glory to God Almighty. Uh, let's put our hands together for our Lord Jesus Christ one more time. We thank God for this wonderful miracle in the life of our mother. She safely delivered this beautiful baby girl uh, without any operations, delivered her naturally. And we give all the glory to Jesus Christ. So, uh, Madam, we can actually see a couple of medical reports beside you. Uh, can you just tell us what are these reports showing us? Okay. The other one there, um, I went for um, scanning on uh, March 12, 2014, and the report there was uh, the placenta, interior line, lo line with the edge of the uh, margin um, close to the um, internal OC. And the rule, uh, the conclusion is that is a, a verbal third trimeter uh, CLCs with the transverse line and placenta previa type 2. I'm sure the doctors um, uh, here knows what it means. And the, the other one that I went for, they said the placenta is uh, okay, interior mid um, tree. Then the um, amniotic fluid, they said adequate volume. And the conclusion was a normal time CLC. So everything is perfectly okay. Well, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. This is the medical reports from the same hospital before and after our sister ministered the anointing water. We give glory to God. And finally, madam, what is your advice to viewers around the world? My advice to the viewers of the world is to believe. If you believe, you will um, receive. I believe so much that if I use the anointing water, it will work for me. And that is why it worked for me. And I pray that um, others are here. And if you believe that you receive the same miracle too, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's put our hands together one more time for Jesus Christ. We thank God for your life, madam. Pray that God will give you the grace to train this beautiful baby in the ways of the Lord. And as you do say, the best is yet to come. And uh, what is the name of your baby? The name of my baby is Miasha, meaning blessing, life's blessing. Then uh, the second name is Emanuela, innocent, Kure, God with us. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ one more time. Mesdames et Messieurs, nous sommes en train d'écouter ce merveilleux témoignage de cette dame qui nous dit qu'à sept mois de sa grossesse, le médecin avait constaté après une échographie que son bébé était en mauvaise position et il lui a dit qu'à terme de sa grossesse, elle aurait à subir une opération en vue de lui permettre de donner son enfant librement. Convaincu que rien n'est impossible à Dieu, son mari arriva à la synagogue église de toutes les nations où il eut l'opportunité de, re, de recevoir l'audonction qu'il lui rapporta. Elle dit qu'elle a appliqué l'audonction et elle est retournée à l'hôpital pour de nouveaux contrôles. Et le médecin a vu que le, le bébé s'est tourné dans son ventre et était en bonne position cette fois-ci. Mais à l'approche de son accouchement, elle avait le col qui était fermé et elle a eu à administrer aussi l'eau d'onction dans ses parties intimes. Et elle est repartie à l'hôpital pour un contrôle de routine. Et l'infirmière avait constaté que tout était parfait et elle a donné naissance librement à son enfant pour la gloire de Dieu. Elle est ici pour rendre tout son témoignage et remercier le Seigneur pour tous ses bienfaits. Pero si nos acabamos de escuchar el testimonio de esta mujer, nos cuenta que después de su embarazo, ella a los pocos meses sintió movimientos en su cuerpo donde el bebé cambió de posición y también su matriz cayó, eh, la placenta eh, estaba caída, perdón, y este, dice que su esposo vino a la sinagoga e iglesia de todas las naciones, ya que los doctores le dijeron que tenía que recibir una operación para que su bebé pudiera nacer, así que eh, después de ministrar el agua de unción que su esposo le trajo de la sinagoga e iglesia de todas las naciones, esta mujer sintió unos eh, movimientos en su estómago donde el bebé volvió a su posición normal y también eh, la placenta volvió a su posición normal y dice que pudo dar a luz sin operación y sin ningún problema para la gloria de Dios. Gloria a Dios.
you would like to visit the Synagogue Church of All Nations, log on to our website, www.goan.org. Go to the Visit Us page. And for those from within Nigeria, you can call the three visit lines that appear on the website. For those from outside Nigeria, there are some frequently asked questions that will assist you in your visit procedure. Remember, it is essential that anyone from outside Nigeria should fill in the questionnaire. Please remember to answer every question that is asked. And after you have filled in the questionnaire, remember to click Send. Please note, you must wait to receive an invitation or confirmation of your visit from us before making any traveling arrangements or flight bookings. All communication with the Synagogue Church of All Nations should be through the following email address, info at scoan.org. We look forward to hearing from you. Emmanuel, God with us. Emmanuel, Matthew 1.23 Behold, a virgin shall be with child. God with us.